Uh, hi everyone, it's amazing to be here. Uh, my name is Vivek, I'm a product manager uh, working on the Chrome team at Google, and I want to talk to you uh, about a WebAssembly project that our team has been super excited to contribute to uh, for a couple of years now called WebAssembly GC or WASM GC. Um, so I'll briefly share a little bit about why we built WASM GC and what it means for web developers uh, with some exciting news, I think, for native mobile app developers as well at the end. So going back to the beginning, this mission statement should be mostly familiar to two people. Um, it's loosely paraphrased from what's on WebAssembly.org. WebAssembly is a portable compilation target for programming languages supporting deployment on the web. We've seen today how WebAssembly has grown far beyond this initial mission, but I want to focus on just two parts of it for now. The first part is the large universe of programming languages, and managed languages in particular. And the second, since we work on Chrome, is how we think about deploying compiled code to the web specifically. This usually means running WebAssembly modules alongside JavaScript code, and it always means accessing the web's JavaScript native APIs uh, in some form or another. So first, programming languages. One way to break down programming languages is by how they use memory. Languages like C, C++, and Rust rely on developers to kind of tidy up after themselves, freeing allocated memory once it's no longer being used. This class of languages was actually the primary focus of the early WebAssembly standard, what we call WebAssembly MVP, uh, in part because a lot of code was written in C++. Graphics engines, uh, game engines use C++ for performance reasons, uh, and large desktop applications use C++ largely for historic reasons. Another class of languages supports garbage collection, where the language's own runtime automatically finds and frees memory that the app is no longer using. Now, this class of languages is really interesting if you're building web or mobile apps, because JavaScript is the language in which the web's APIs are specified and standardized, and Kotlin and Dart are increasingly popular among developers building cross-platform native mobile apps. So we wanted to figure out what would it take to extend the web platform to include applications written in these languages in a performant way. So let's talk about how we did that. When a web app starts in a browser, it's given a context uh, and JavaScript memory. Now, JavaScript memory is garbage collected, so there's a garbage collector running behind the scenes that's provided by the browser. When an app instantiates a WebAssembly module, it asks for and is allocated a region of linear memory for its own use. If a developer is using a language like C or C++, then the WASM module uses some of this memory for a dynamic heap, and the developer is responsible for freeing objects from that heap after they're done using it. On the other hand, if a developer wanted to use a managed memory language, then the WASM module will need to include that language's garbage collector code to manage the heap and automatically free up unused memory. There are two main problems with this approach. The first is obviously bloat. A WebAssembly module has to ship and instantiate that garbage collector every time the app is loaded. This increases the module's size and delays the application's startup despite the fact that every standards-compliant browser today already contains a garbage collector that apps can use. Another form of bloat comes from the need for developers to have a kind of clairvoyance when deciding how much memory to request for their WebAssembly module. To avoid crashes, the typical thing to do is to set your maximum memory size just beyond the upper limit of what you anticipate your memory needs will actually be. This puts pressure on implementations that have to manage the app's JavaScript and WebAssembly memory separately alongside the memory needed by other apps and other, other pages in the browser. The second problem with this architecture is what I call the split brain problem. In this architecture, the two memories and their garbage collectors don't actually know about each other. This means that developers need to be careful to architect their applications to avoid corruption when, for example, the JavaScript garbage collector comes along and frees some memory that's actually still needed by the WASM side or vice versa. All this adds up to more bookkeeping for developers that they have to do themselves, which kind of defeats the point of using a managed memory language in the first place. But even if you put all of your objects on one side, in one heap on the WebAssembly side, you can't avoid dealing with the JavaScript heap, and that's because of the Web APIs. Web APIs are specified to accept and return JavaScript objects, which naturally live on the JavaScript heap and are collected by the JavaScript garbage collector. 
In the original version of WebAssembly, this meant copying your data in both directions between WASM and JavaScript anytime you wanted to call a web API. Graphics APIs like the DOM, Canvas, WebGL, and WebGPU are especially impacted by this, because in some cases, you have to call these APIs hundreds of times per frame or thousands of times per second uh, with very strict latency requirements to avoid user-visible jank. The net result is, even after we built a fast compilation target for code on the web, many frameworks and applications ran the risk of producing jankier experiences on the web than they were able to produce on native mobile platforms. So how do we address this? Well, the WebAssembly community came together and created a new extension that, in effect, shares a joint heap between JavaScript and WebAssembly GC code. Now, your managed memory code can just allocate objects on this joint heap. And when the browser's garbage collector comes around, JavaScript and WebAssembly GC objects are garbage collected together. This means no more bloat. Your WebAssembly module doesn't have to ship its own full garbage collector implementation every time your app loads. And your WebAssembly app can more easily grow and shrink its memory footprint based on uh, its consumption, just like a JavaScript app can. Some browsers, including Chrome, will also actually return unused WebAssembly memory to the operating system whenever possible, helping to ensure that apps running on the user's device remain efficient and responsive. And the Web API story improves as well. WebAssembly GC modules create objects in the same heap where the JavaScript Web APIs will go looking for them, and return values are easily passed back as well, without any excessive copying. So that's WebAssembly GC. Smaller binaries for modern managed memory languages, faster interop with JavaScript code and the JavaScript-based Web APIs, and a dynamically resizable memory footprint that grows and shrinks to provide your module with what it needs. And there's one more thing. All this talk about managed memory languages from native mobile platforms running on the web, it's no hypothetical. First, let's say hi to our developer friends building Flutter, Android, and Kotlin multi-platform apps. We've got some news for you, too. Early data shows that WebAssembly GC now runs code compiled from these languages in the browser two to four times faster than compiling them to JavaScript. From a user's point of view, this level of performance is increasingly indistinguishable from what they, were, what, what they would see on native mobile platforms. We're talking about apps running at 120 frames per second with single millisecond frame update times. We can now imagine a world where cross-platform frameworks can build for native and the web with no perceivable difference in their capabilities or in their performance. And on the web, your app is just a click away from billions of new users who can discover and share it just as easily as they share a web page, with no stores getting in the way and no revenue split affecting your profitability. The productivity of cross-platform development, the performance of native mobile apps, and the openness of the web. That's what we're excited about with WebAssembly. I'll close by saying that there's just so much more to this story than I can share with you in this brief lightning talk. So don't miss these talks uh, from Kevin on Flutter, as well as Elite and Sebastian on uh, Kotlin Multiplatform. Uh, and be sure to click over to their videos if you're watching this online. Thank you. Questions? Are there mics going around or go ahead, just shut it out? That, that's a great question. I know the Flutter presentation will go into that, and they have an excellent story there. Um, other languages, obviously, were evolving that story as well. Um, but our goal with debugging is to actually um, link into the existing debugging experience for native mobile development as well. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much.